guys, Andrea Mills here. Thanks for coming over today. Um, we are going to make some beard oil today. Tom has been using this bottle of uh, Mr. Natty's famous beard elixir on his beard. And I think he paid around $15 for this little bottle of it. And when he got it, I'm like, oh, we could definitely make that ourselves. So now that it's out, I'm going to make up a batch today. It's not going to be just the same as what Mr. Natty's is. But um, I think all that you really are looking for is oil and um, essential oils to make it smell good. So the oil is going to condition the hair on the beard and the skin. And then the essential oils might have some... Um, beneficial pro uh, properties to the hair and skin but mainly it's just for the scent so there's several um little oils in here and it smelled really good i really like it when he's using it because it just makes me want to just like nuzzle into his beard because it smells really nice so i'm going to reuse this bottle because it came with this special little dropper that's got a ball tip on the end i have my own dropper bottles i could have used but since this one had this little um tip that's supposed to make it more precise in the dispensing. I'm just going to reuse this one. So I'm going to take this label off and make my own and then um, mix up my own oils. So I decided to go ahead and use some of this MCT oil, which is medium chain triglycerides. It comes from coconut oil, but it doesn't um, solidify like coconut oil does. And then I'm going to use some castor oil because it's really good for conditioning hair and making it grow better. Then for my essential oils, I chose pine, um, just because it's got that nice kind of manly smell. Bergamot smells like orange, so it's kind of a nice citrus. And then um, the Peru balsam. It, to me, it kind of has a vanilla smell, and I like that. So there's no right or wrong oils. I just like these ones, so I picked them out to use today. I pre-measured, and I know that it takes two teaspoons to fill up this little bottle that I'm using, which is a... I think it said a point, it's an 8 milliliter bottle, 0.27 ounces. So I'm going to have two um, teaspoons of oil. So I'm going to go ahead and just pour those into this little um, container because I thought it would be easier to mix in this and then pour it into my bottle. I'm going to use about one and a half teaspoons of the MCT oil and then about half of a teaspoon of the castor oil. It's a lot thicker than the MCT oil. Next I'm going to put in just one drop of the pine, then I'll do two drops of bergamot, oh, got three, and then I'm going to do um, seven drops of this Peru balsam. Now we will pour it into our little bottle. I have this little mini funnel right here that I got. I got probably a dozen of these, I think, on Amazon for a couple dollars one time, and they're really nice for um, pouring into little bottles. Thank you. 